les cinq choses que je, dont je ne peux pas me passer. La cuisine. La cuisine. La cuisine. <rire> la cuisine. Et la pâtisserie. I, early experience with Guy he was like a, a huge father figure. Uh, my parents separated early on, so at the age of 22, when I found myself in France, no money, begging for knowledge. I mean, he, he took me under his wing. He helped me to win my third Michelin star. I mean, that, that's an Oscar uh, in the food world. Um, he gave me a hard time because I won it before him. I said, well, you taught me, um, so, you know, blame yourself. So I used to have a small restaurant near, near the Champs-Élysées. I don't remember exactly the street, but it was nice. It, and, and Guy was always nice, always wonderful. Restaurant Guy Savoie in Paris is one of the most acclaimed restaurants in the world. To bring a restaurant of this caliber to Caesar's Palace really put our name on the map as a serious uh, culinary destination. Guy Savoie has helped to um, ascertain the importance of fine dining uh, at Caesar's Palace because the room's beautiful. I mean, it's stunning. And only Guy would get away with his name on the front of the door as you arrive at the valet. Guy did bring to Las Vegas a great restaurant. It's a beautiful restaurant. And when Guy's present, it makes the place 10 times nicer. It gave credibility to the, to the entire city, frankly, to have someone of, of Guy's caliber um, in the midst. He loved his employees. That is so special about Guy. He surrounded himself with good employees, and he loves them. Here we are, seven years after opening, and the entire staff, which, by the way, was handpicked by Guy Savoie, they're all still here. Once they get here, this is like being in the NFL. Um, you are in the big leagues. It's almost like this uh, tornado came through the kitchen every time, and he was immaculate. His chef jacket was immaculate, his trousers were immaculate, his shoes were polished, but he had time to say hello to everybody. And it's something I learned from an early age, the fact that, you know, whether it's a, a kitchen porter, a line cook, sous chef, executive chef, you need to understand that everybody's important. Guy Savoir taught me just that. It's just always shocking to me that someone of his stature in the culinary world would be so at ease with, uh, with customers and make himself available uh, to have glasses of wine, smoke a cigar, glass of cognac with his customer. But that's what Guy Savoie is all about. And I've been going to his restaurant for 40 years. He's always very nice, and, and the way he cooked is special. He has a, yeah, the way of cooking is. I think I'm going to take some of his recipe. I want to copy him. He comes to the table with something different. The cuisine's light, it's the sea meets the earth, and it's great finesse. But he's an amazing thinker. But he thinks about you, not just his food. There's a lot of celebrity restaurants in town where the celebrity chef doesn't uh, come to town that often. Guy comes here, spends a week or two at a time, and when he comes to town, he brings the latest recipes from France, uh, with him, and he works with the chefs uh, to install the newest ideas uh, that are coming out of his restaurant in Paris and brings it fresh to Las Vegas. I think he has helped to uh, remove the intimidation from fine dining because it's an experience beyond belief, and it's something everyone should do once in their life. To enjoy the best in life. I mean, this is what coming to Caesar's Palace is all about, and enjoying the best in life is what coming to a restaurant like Guy Savoie is. The man's a mentor. Um, the guy is a legend uh, globally now. Very few chefs of that ilk can be great all round. He is an amazing all rounder. Le, le message que je pourrais faire passer à toutes les à tous les les, 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 les personnes qui viennent tous ces arts palaces, genre tout simplement, je leur donne tout simplement ma devise: aimer la vie.